Well, today what we're going to be doing is replacing a knackered LED mirror indicator unit. This is my mate Tam's Honda CRV. There's some uh, information on the internet about this, but none of it seems to really show what you're supposed to do. It's just bits and bobs. So, this is a cheap Chinese replacement. Uh, roughly £10 on AliExpress. Quite a bit cheaper than eBay or from your local Honda dealer. So that's that. Now, to get the mirror glass off, we've actually popped it off. But what you're doing, if you come around here, you basically have to separate this plastic part from the black of the mirror glass. And you basically pop it off at the bottom here and here. And then there's two hooks that go in there. So you basically pull the mirror up, down and out. Now I'll show you what it's like on the back of the mirror. So here's what the mirror looks like. This is the part that goes at the top. You can see the two hooks. See the hooks there? Now the hooks go up. Up into this part here. Uh, for the electric part to adjust the angle of the mirror. And then this is the bit you're going to be popping off at the bottom here. So to do that, I'll demonstrate on the other side mirror. Well, I don't know how clear that is because with the light here, it's difficult to see. But that white part there, and then the black part, you just basically put either a butter knife, which is suggested, or a flat blade, flat blade screwdriver between the two. Just gently pull it apart. And then you're going to... Can you hold that, Tom? There you go. Then you're just going to basically pull this this way and then pull it down. And get that out and then obviously you've got the two connectors there two cables for the, uh, the heated element of the mirror the black goes to the bottom on this car and the blue one goes to the top so the next thing to do is remove the Torx screws uh, we're not entirely sure at the moment how many there are, but it looks like there could be four. There's like one here, one there, one there, and one there, and then that will presumably allow us to remove this to get access to the uh, the mirror. Uh, sorry, the indicator in the mirror. So we're just going to get the proper size Torx and take them out. Right, so that's all the screws taken out. It appears that you hold it here, pull it out there, and then wiggle it out. There we go, that's a shell off. What do you think, Tom? Success? Yep. So what we've got to do now... Ah, so... I'm not sure if I have to remove that or not. So we've got that part loose, as you can see. We might have to take this bit out. Right, we'll have a think about that and get back. Okay, we've kind of jumped ahead a little bit here. There's three screws, they're shorter torch screws. One here, one there and one right down the bottom there, undo them, this comes out, then this, I don't know if it's absolutely 100% you need to do that, but that gives us more room to pull this out, be gentle while you're doing it, and that gives access to this clip. So, just pull the clip off there, take it out, as you can see, there's been a bit of water ingress there due to some sort of crack, uh, it was just working and no more. You could only see it in the dark, couldn't see it in the daylight. But it's basically buggered. So, he's got that time. Let's have a comparison. Looks pretty much identical, doesn't it? What about the back end? Yep. 
No, it says this one says it's a Stanley, this one says it's a Honda Stanley. But so whether or not they're the same thing, I've no idea. But anyway, let's get fired in. No, it's actually cracked, you see that? Totally cracked. Right. So before we uh, reassemble it, we've just hooked it up and we're just going to put the hazards on, see if it works. You got the hazards on, Tom? All right, that's working. Yeah, you've got three LEDs on that one, for sure. Yeah, that definitely works. One LED there and two LEDs here, right. Okie doke. Okay, that's it in. It's all nice and flush. A bit of a tip there. When you're putting this in, obviously you're just going to kind of put it around the corner. You need to get that little white bit, if you can see that, yeah. That little white bit needs to go above the black plastic. I don't know if I can... Yeah, that's better. You see this little white clip? It needs to go above this flat edge. If it goes underneath, it won't line up here. So that's that. Alright, so just getting the screws put back in. Through the window shot. Oh, excellent. So, that one there, one in the top right hand corner and one in the bottom right hand corner. And now we're just going to fit the, uh, the plastic shroud. So you get over the white bit, Tom, on the inside. See that wee lip just at the top right? Aye, right, and then that, the inside edge goes in first. That's it. And it should clip in on the left side. That's it. So it's uh, it's clipped into place. So just remember to put in this side first. So you're kind of doing that kind of action. And then we've got the four, four top screws, which I've left here. So, top right, top left, and then two at the lower left hand portion. Cleaned up the cobwebs due to a neighbourhood spider taking residence there. Tom's just going to put a squirt of uh, WD-40 into the connectors. And then I'm just going to fit the mirror. We're going to try to get the mirror back in. So you've got the two, you've got the two hooks there. You just need to go in here and here. So it kind of goes in. All right, no. That feels like it's located. Well, it feels like it's done something. Right, we'll just check the, the movement of the mirror. Yep. Very difficult to see in there, but in here 
where the edge of the screwdriver is, the tip of the screwdriver, there's the white part that was the bit that the mirror clips into. I was finding that when I was trying to push it on by hand after clipping it in at the top, this part wasn't going in properly, so I put the blade of the screwdriver on the white part and then pressed with my hand against the mirror and then it clicked into place. So when you've put it all back together, just make sure these bottom clips have definitely gone back into place. Very difficult to show it with this uh, little gap, unfortunately. Well, that's it, job done. If you weren't farting about videoing it, it would probably take you about 15 minutes to do this. Uh, we'll give a link to show where it was purchased from, but it was sourced via AliExpress at the time for roughly £10. So, uh, there we go. Job done.